Jared Polin, Frono's Photo. Dot com and I have some breaking photo news coming out of the Adobe world and Adobe has killed Lightroom at least the Lightroom the way that we've been using it. So what they've done is they've split Lightroom into two different programs. Lightroom CC is an entirely new program that I'll talk about in just a second. The old Lightroom, the desktop version that we've been using is now going to be called Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. The classic part of it, now they did update the program, it is much faster to use. I've been using it with the Nikon D850 RAW files for quite a while. It's fast, it's quick to go from develop to library. It opens much faster. It's just faster all the way around. It made changes that everybody's been waiting for because we know that Lightroom has been slow. But what is Lightroom CC now? Well, this is a three-pronged approach. It is a web-based Lightroom editing software, it's a desktop editing, and it's mobile editing, but it's tied in with the cloud. So you can upload your raw files to it and get access to it anywhere you're at. Now, I've, I've tested it out, and it is pretty quick. It's a stripped-down version of Lightroom, but it's much lighter, but it works. It does what you need it to do, but it does it all in the cloud. Now, of course, you can download the program for your computer, but I'm personally sticking with Lightroom Classic CC because I want to organize my photos much easier than what Lightroom CC. See, isn't it confusing? Lightroom CC, Lightroom Classic CC. Yeah, it's going to be confusing. Just think of it like this. The classic version is what we've been using for a long time, and that's what you use to store your images on your computer and keep it nice and organized. Lightroom CC is now more designed for on the go, wherever you are, you can get access to your images. So what does this mean for your plan? What's it going to cost you? Well, they have three different plans now. If you wanna stick with Lightroom Classic, like you've been using for a long time, and you wanna have access to Photoshop, it's $9.99 a month. It's the same thing that you've been paying for the photo bundle, but it also includes Lightroom CC. But you only get 20 gigabytes of storage. Now there's another option where if you just want to have Lightroom CC, the new option with a terabyte of storage, you get that, but you don't get Photoshop or you don't get the classic Lightroom, which I don't recommend anybody doing. Or if you want to go all out, balls to the wall, $19.99 a month gets you all of it, the CC, the classic CC, Photoshop, and a terabyte of storage up in the cloud. Now the one thing I don't know is how you upload the stuff to the cloud, how fast it is, because you know if you're putting a 100 megabyte D850 RAW file up into the cloud and you want to mobily edit that, how is that going to be possible? What it's probably going to do, and if I'm going to guess this because they haven't fully announced everything, is that it's going to give you a preview and you're going to edit the preview and then it's going to do the rest on the back end on Google, uh, sorry, on YouTube's, not YouTube, on Adobe's server side. Now that's how I think it would be done because you're not going to pull down a RAW file that's 100 megabytes to do it. Uh, mobily, I think you're just going to be working on the preview, which is basically what they did with uh, Lightroom Mobile. So this is interesting. I know it's going to cause some confusion. It's really not that confusing. Lightroom Classic CC is what we've been using for a long time, still $9.99. Uh, and then you can have Lightroom CC, yes, I had to think about it, which is the new lighter version that's pretty darn fast. It does work very well. Um, I could see using it in a pinch. I can see it's more for amateurs than pros because I don't think I want to store my stuff in their cloud. That's why I have my own server space. I can access it from wherever I want. But if you need to do quick editing on the go, I don't think you can go wrong there. So I'm personally going to stick with the 999 version that gives me Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC, as well as um, Photoshop. Now, the last thing is if you still use standalone Lightroom because for whatever reason you're against subscriptions, you can still purchase it for the undisclosed amount of time, but it will not be updated after October 26th. So if you have the if you have a D850, you can use that, but once they stop updating it, you're no longer going to have raw support or bug fixes, so it's really not worth it. I highly recommend spending the 9.99 a month. It's well worth it to have Photoshop and Lightroom and have access to all of that. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think that this is way too confusing to have both? When you look into both, which one are you going to use? Are you going to use one or the other or all of them? And which plan would you get? The 9.99 for the for just the Lightroom or are you going to go with Photoshop? Lightroom, Lightroom CC, as well as, well, Classic and the storage. And finally, if you are looking to learn how to use Lightroom because you're a beginner or you're somebody who's been using it for a while but you just want to get better at doing it, well, you can learn from the person that I learned from. His name is Matt Kane. He's created the Ultimate Lightroom course, which is a 13-hour long video that breaks down everything you need to know about Lightroom 
easily in video. It's what I use when I need to go back and learn. You can get more information and purchase it at mattk.com slash fro. Be sure to use the code fro at checkout to get $105 off instantly. Matt is also going to update the system to include the new Lightroom CC Classic as well as Lightroom so you have nothing to worry there because he's going to update all those videos and you're going to get that as a free update. So don't forget you can check out the last photo news fix up on the screen right now. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and that's where I'll leave it. Jared Polin, Photo.com. See ya.